Hello, I'm Alan Hawes. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add middleware packages to your Modus Toolbox applications. There is a whole world of middleware that we provide you, including FreeRTOS, EMWin, PDL, ThreadX, a bunch of IoT protocols and functions, basically a whole bunch of stuff to help you get going. Picking up from the last video, I already have a UART set up in my configuration project, and I want to print messages to it with the printf command. I'll do that from the CM4 core on the PSOC 6 device. I want to add the printf driver library, which we call retarget IO. To do that, just right click and choose Modus Toolbox Middleware Selector. Once the dialog opens, I just enable retarget IO by checking it and pressing OK. The package gets added to your project for you automatically now. If I click through these folders, I get to the utilities folder, which just got added. It contains the new package retarget IO. The purpose of that library is to attach a UART or a SPI or some serial communication device to the C standard in and standard out. For this example, I need to tell the source code what UART I want to use for the I.O. I'll edit the standard I.O. user.h file to do that. I'll include the cyconfig.h file, which was generated automatically by the configurator tool, and set I.O. standard out UART and I.O. standard in UART to be bridge UART underscore HW. Remember that bridge underscore UART is the alias I gave my UART in the PSOC configuration video from earlier. When you save the configuration, it generated a C macro for you automatically with the suffix underscore HW to refer to the actual SCB that's inside of the PSOC, which is attached to those pins. In this case, it's SCB5. Using these aliases helps to make your code more portable and easier to write because you don't have to remember the actual SCB number that you're using. And if for some reason you change your configuration, it will update this code for you automatically. All of these configurators act the same way. You run them and they create generated source that matches what you put into the configuration GUI. We have them for PWMs, communication blocks, CAPSENSE, etc. All of the good stuff that you find in a PSOC. The library is all set up now. In the next video, I'll write the code. Thank you for watching. I'm very excited about our new tool, Modus Toolbox, and I would like to hear what you think about it. If you have technical questions, you should post them to the Cypress developer community at community.cypress.com. I watch that site closely, and so does my whole team, so you will get a quick response to your question. If you want to send a personal note with an observation or a suggestion, my email is alan underscore haas at cypress.com, or you're welcome to tweet me at askiotexpert. Thank you very much.